Hello guys, my name is Lucas and welcome to a new episode of Unity and MySQL and PHP. And what we're going to learn today is how to log in into our database as a user and get the information corresponding to our account. So what we basically want to do, we have Unity, we're going to make a script for Unity, which is going to send a password and a username to PHP. And PHP is going to take this username and, and password. He's going to tell the database, hey man, I have a password and I have a username. This guy is trying to log in. Can you find this username for me? Sure, man. He's going to tell PHP the password matches. So you can tell Unity, hey, the password matches. You can log in. You can take all this information. If the passwords don't match or if it couldn't found the username, because we maybe type a wrong username, he's going to tell He's going to tell PHP, you know what? I couldn't find, sorry. You know what? I couldn't find that username. So just tell Unity that try again because we couldn't find that in our data. Okay, so that's a no no. So we're going to do that now with PHP. So let's go to cool YTRPG. And I remember before we used to display data, the items data. Um, with itemsdata.php, so we're going to reuse this script. We're going to uh, copy it and paste it and rename it. I'm going to call it login.php, and I'm going to edit it with Notepad++. So we had a few things, few things for the server connection, the database connection, which is fine. We don't need to, we don't, we don't need to do anything to that. We're just going to reuse that part of the code make the connection, check the connection. But what we want to change is the SQL, the, the SQL, the query we want to send. We still want to select something, but this time we're not, sorry, this time we're not going to select everything. We're going to select some specific things and we're going to use something called where. In SQL, where is finding something specific where a condition is met. So for example, this time we're going to select the password from now this remember this is the table we want to get information from. Now we're not going getting it from items. We're going to get it from users. So we're selecting the password. Maybe I'm gonna make this bigger. Selecting the password from the table called users. And, but if we do this, we're selecting all the passwords from all the users. We want to select the password from users where, so here's where our condition comes in, where username is equals to, to something, to what? Oh, and in SQL, sorry, is only one equal sign. It's not double equal sign, so just, do that yeah it's not like in c-sharp or php um so this is our query select a password from the table users where the username equals something and we need that something we get the username from unity so we're going to do what we did before we're going to call this user username and i think we did this before with law and uh, not login creating a user um yeah, we call it username and we renamed this. Uh, so please, guys, in the comments, let me know if you would like to follow this naming convention or if you want to follow this naming convention, which is user username and user password. Yeah, just let me know which one you prefer. There is no problem as long as you're consistent. So we're going to make this consistent later on. Um, and we're going to set this equals to a post type variable username post and here we do the same password post so now we have a username that we can use for finding something in the database so I'm going to copy this and we're going to paste it here but something's wrong our SQL is a string 
So we need to concatenate the username so we get the string from inside and add it inside this string. So to concatenate in PHP, we do, and here we add a, add a dot and add a double quote. But before that, remember that we need the single quote. So if I didn't do this with post, let me try to be more clear. If I didn't do this with uh, post, I would tell my SQL that the username is Lucas, like this. And I need make, have to make him know that it's not a variable like username or users or password, but it's a value, it's a string. And I do that with single quotes. But right now, because we're not always getting Lucas, we need to get that post variable. We're going to remove Lucas. We still have the single quote, single quotes, but we add the concatenation in between. And then we paste user underscore username. So we're getting the same, but with different users. So that, that should select the password from the users where username is equals to the username we input in Unity. Okay, now the second part is get the result and confirm login, right? Because we need to get a result and check uh, does the password match? Here I remember what we did was getting all the rows uh, with the result and if the rows were more than zero, that means there is a result, we will show something, we will show data for each row. Otherwise, we're going to show nothing. So right now, instead of showing just a bunch of items, what we want to do is compare the two passwords because we got one password from the result of the query and we got one password from the input of the user. So I'm going to select this and delete it. And I'm just going to make an if statement. If the, um, so the password in this case is row because this is the, the 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 fetch the thing we fetch from the from the query the row if the row is equals to and we have our user password if they are equal echo this string log in success else we're going to echo password incorrect and if the result of the query didn't show anything that means that our user our our sql couldn't find any username as the one that we requested so that means that the user doesn't exist therefore we're going to make an else so if there was no result that means user not found and after using this to check if we can log in or not that's where we can load all the data from this user. Nice. Now we have the PHP site. Now we need to make Unity to send the post here and try this on our database. So first I'm going to go to Unity and make a new script. I'm going to call it login. We're going to open this with mono develop or whatever you want to use. So like before, we're going to use some variables Later, we will implement input and UI stuff with this. But right now, just to debug it and to test it, we're going to use variables that we use in the inspector. So I'm just going to make a public username. Oh, and this is a string, by the way. And I have a public string password. And now I'm going to make another function called void login to db. OK. So we have login to database and we will need two parameters. The first parameter is the username and the second parameter, of course, is the password. So we have username and password. And also we need the www form. Uh, there's so many W's. I'm just going to say form. OK, so let's do a form. And we can actually look at our data inserter and just copy this. So we don't need to type so much again. We just create a form 
and we have a add field we have the username post and this that that's the username and here we have a problem because right now our username variable and our parameter variable they match so just to make it more clear so we're going to call this input username like we did before yeah input username and also we're going to call the password input password okay so we don't get confused so whatever um so we're adding a field to the form username post username and we need to add another field called so password post and this is going to contain the password that we passed in our login to database function then we send the form to the url and the url could have a private string called create user url now we're going to call this login url and of course replace the name where we have to replace it and set this instead of insert user now our php file is called login as you can see here now we need to be able to call the function so just i'm just going to like last time input get key down now instead of key code space we're going to do key code l l for login i don't know whatever and instead of creating a user we are going to log into database and we don't need the third parameter because that was for the creating uh, now we just want to log in so now to check whether we log in successfully or not we need to wait for the result of this www thing and for doing that we need to if you remember when we did it in data loader in one of the first few lessons we did an i enumerator which let us use yield and so we can make some delay in our function so instead of this being a void we're going to turn it into a i enumerator and if you haven't learned about i enumerators i have a tutorial about that you can click around here to go check that out so make sure you go if you haven't yet so now we're going to yield return www so we're just saying hey unity wait for this web request or web form or whatever wait for it to return a result and then move on to the next part of the code which will be just a debug.log or you can print and we want to dot the the text contained in the www form which can be login success or it can be password incorrect or can be user not found one of those three this should not be called just like this but we need to start a call routine start call routine and then the call routine we wish to start so in this case it's login to db now we can actually try this so let's go to unity i'm going to see what is going on here nothing login i'm going to drag the login to into the main camera so we have login in the input username i'm going to paste unity test which we have in our database and then we're going to type the password which should be one two three four five six and we're going to press back into our game screen so we can press L and we have we have something but it says password incorrect for some reason the password that we provided does not match the password in our database which I thought it would be one two three four five six so something must be wrong let's let's see what's going on um let's echo the result so we can see if actually we're comparing the password with the actual password so i'm going to echo that and i'm going to echo um the result row yeah let's do this so we're going to put it on three cases 
I'm just going to say password is same here and let's try this again you need to test input password one two three four five six and then we press L password incorrect break password is array okay great so the problem here is that we're comparing the whole array to the user password and the whole array although there is only one result when we print it out it's going to get print as array it just tell us the information about the array so what we want to do actually is get what we're asking the array to retrieve us which is the password in this case so row and get us the password please like we selected here password and compare that to the user password and same if we want to debug this we just need to do it like this just in case let's keep debugging it so now we're going to try again with unity test and the password which is one two three four five six click on the game l and login success one two three four five six great we have done it we log in successfully and we can try all the things for example we can try test test which is not a username in our database and just one two three whatever password and l user not found and there is notice uh, we can try uh, unity test and a wrong password and it's going to say password incorrect password is one two three four five six of course we don't want to tell that to the users in our game but right now we know it because we're debugging it and we got this functioning login system so that's pretty much it thank you very much for watching i'm going to keep working out keep tuning up this this series probably next time we're going to make inventories uh, for the database for each player so thank you all for your support thank you really much I really appreciate it and I will see you next time goodbye Psh.